Hey guys, welcome to this Godot spawn bullet tutorial where we're going to be spawning bullets and projectiles from our player. So just to show you what we're going to be building, uh, let me run this project. So as you can see, uh, we can move our player around and we can shoot off a bullet or projectile. So guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, uh, please do so now and hit that notification bell so that you can get updates of any new videos and tutorials in future. So guys, I'm going to jump straight into this tutorial. Let's uh, just quickly look at the structure of the project. So I've got a project here where I've already got a player. So if you want to replicate this, you need to go and create a game node 2D over here and a player, which is just a player scene, which has got a node 2D, a kinematic body 2D, a sprite and a collision shape 2D. I've also got a player script, which we'll go through a little bit later on in this tutorial. But for now, what we need to do is we need to create our projectile. So I'm going to go over to this plus over here and create a new scene. So we're going to use a 2D scene. I'm going to rename this to projectile. Very next thing we need to do is we need to add a kinematic body 2D because we want to affect the physics of our projectile. And then we want to bring in our projectile PNG over here, which is our sprite for our projectile. I'm just going to center this off so that it's aligned with that crosshair. And then I'm going to size this down to look a little bit more like a bullet. So save that off as projectile TSEN. Now we need to create a script, which is going to help us modify the velocity of this projectile. So in order to do that, I'm just going to head over here to the file system. I'm going to right click and click on new script. We call this uh, new script uh, projectile. And I'm just going to attach this uh, before we forget uh, to this kinematic body 2D of the projectile. So attach your script by loading it up here. And then let's open up our projectile script. So the first thing we're going to be doing here is we're going to be modifying our kinematic body 2D. So we need to extend kinematic body 2D. And I'm going to get rid of some of these comments because we don't need them. We need to, instead of the process function, we need to use physics process because we're going to be affecting physics. First thing we need here is a var velocity. We're just going to hold our velocity of our projectile, so it's a vector 2. And then in our ready function, we're just going to set our y velocity equal to minus 600. So it just gives it a decent amount of uh, velocity to uh, shoot our bullet with. Just type this correctly. And then uh, in our physics process, we are just simply going to do a move and slide. So move and slide of our velocity. And that's basically our projectile script. That's all we need uh, to just get our projectile uh, moving when we spawn it. So the next thing we now need to do is we need to actually spawn our projectile when we do a mouse click. I'm going to head over to our player. So I've already got a player script over here, which uh, just basically it moves as a move speed. It's got a vector two velocity, pretty much like our projectile. And then it's got an input component where it just looks at uh, the arrow keys, which we press to move our player around. So the first thing we want to do in this uh, player script is to just uh, create a shoot function so that we can shoot our bullet. So I'll call this func shoot. And then what we're going to do is we're going to load up our projectile, TSN. So load that up. Projectile.tsn. Then we need to instance it off. So I'm going to declare a var bullet equals uh, projectile and instance. And then finally, we need to add it as a child node on uh, the game object. If you do have a project projectiles node, you could actually add all your projectiles under that node. So it gives you a little bit more control 
if you need to destroy all projectiles at the same time or individual projectiles etc so just uh, maybe think about that but i'm going to be adding everything to game for now since this is a short tutorial so after we've uh, instanced our bullet we now need to add it as a child hello node so to get our root we're going to use uh, a function called get tree and then we're going to call get root and then finally we're going to call get node and we're going to pass in game which is this game node over here simply what we're going to do then is just pass in bullet to add it to our scene and i'm going to save that off let's uh, give this a run see if we can actually shoot a bullet can still move around so now we can't obviously uh, because we haven't uh, done our mouse input yet so let's just quickly do that that's quite uh, easy to do so if input what is mouse button pressed uh, we're going to look for the button left and we simply then just going to call shoot let's run that off see now it should now work now fire bullets which is great the only thing now is we need to uh, just for efficiency sake we need to clean up after ourselves so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to show you how you can do this so i'm going to close this off we're going to go back into projectile and what we want to just do here i just want to show you how this works so i'm going to print out our position dot y because we are moving in our y direction so I'm printing that out and then when we shoot off a bullet just uh, look at what happens here at the output portion so as you can see our bullet is still going and it's going into the negatives so what we want to do here uh, simply is just say if position dot y and I'm going to give this an arbitrary number of uh, minus 1000 it doesn't really matter too much as long as this is basically off screen where the the player who plays your game can't see it so then we're just going to simply call q3 which will then remove our instanced object of that projectile so let's run that and uh, let's just have a look if it still works it's all good it's all fine so guys that's how you can uh, use godot to spawn bullets and projectiles in your games a very simple little process uh, that you can use so guys, uh, that's basically the end of this tutorial. Uh, if you've enjoyed this tutorial, please do give it a like below. If you've got any questions, uh, please do comment. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, uh, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell to get some more updates of more new tutorials and videos in future. Thanks for watching. Cheers.